What's up everyone, Doyler here, and as you can see, it's time for yet another free-to-play account journey. If you are not aware, most or all of the Idle Heroes content creators, so Barry, MK, GDP, possibly June, and myself, are all starting a free-to-play free series over on server 889-889 Android. So, as you can tell, this is another faceless video for me. Uh, my first 5 star was Dominator, unfortunately. Not that useful. But this is just day 1 and day 2, so Christmas and the day after Christmas, on my new free-to-play account. So getting some new server bonus rewards, some Christmas rewards. Um, not a lot happens on the first, you know, day or two of an Idle Heroes account. Um, mostly it's a matter of, as you can see, server 889 for those of you who are just wanting to make sure. Um, the plan is to spend zero dollars. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone else is staying free to play. Um, I will use all of the CD key exchange codes. Um, I'll pop up a link at the top if you haven't gotten the newest codes. Um, if you didn't know, IH777 does require campaign 3-10 nowadays. Um, it's pretty easy to get to. It takes about 20 minutes. Um, probably could be done faster. It's just a matter of clicking next battle, next battle on those campaign stages. That said, I did get the December and Christmas codes in, so hopefully those help and I'll get some decent RNG in my 5-star summons. Um, I did get my Norma, she will be the main carry hero, especially because unlike Barry, who is a dirty, dirty cheater, I do not have a 7-star Inosuke yet, um, saving those summons for a future video. Um, I do manage to get a queen copy, but more importantly, get a fearless out of my first orange shard, so that will help a ton at least. I may not be super lucky, but I will have that plate of the courageous or fearless armor to use um, early sea land and aspen dungeon. Um, I'd love a seven star Inosuke, but I'll take what I can get. Um, not trying to beat the 69 days for the race to E5 account. But I will try and get a E5 as fast as possible, since my other free-to-play content with the E5 horse is still um, going strong. Um, and again, most of sort of early game free-to-play idol heroes is waiting for that campaign button, which you don't have to wait three seconds for, but waiting for those battles to finish. So, getting some friends, trying to get those daily hearts and get Lost Underground started. Um, I don't think cross friends are active on Android yet. That will help a ton once it's done, since I'll add my main and smoke Celestial Island and Lost Underground. So, only leveled up Norma so far. She's a, a great early game carry. Um, for those of you asking what hero should I level up early game, what should my lineup be? As you can see, it doesn't really matter. I've been focusing on the Norma and everyone else is just level one. I will likely do my 50 or so summons on Monday night um, and release that as probably part three of this series. Likely won't do them on Tuesday stream as I'll be doing 2000 summons on at least one account, maybe two to three. Um, we'll have to see what I do on the Abyss meme team. But yeah, once Norma gets her last passive, she's even tankier. But as you can see at level 30, she's able to pretty much self-sustain through even... Um, quote unquote mini boss level damage. So I'll unlock the wishing fountain and I'm gonna do my two daily spins. So still in the day one Christmas footage, but I believe the next clip will start with the 26th footage. Um, I think I'll have three days worth of footage faceless that I'll combine into sort of the first probably two videos for this series. Um, I haven't necessarily recorded a lot of it, but it's really just me beating campaign stages. But probably part three of this video will be the first part where uh, it's back to normal recordings and my face. Um, so yeah, Norma's still smoking campaign, getting some more heroic scrolls. Um, unlock the Tower of Oblivion, so gonna smash through that as promo stones are an issue early game. And I do want to get Norma to level 100 as fast as possible. Um, so, level 1, we'll see how high I can get. Not very far, level 6. Uh, 
that said, maybe the Chroma Stones will help me level up Norma and I'll push her to, yeah, at least the next part. So 210 is cleared, so up to the Land of Fear. Still on the Christmas recordings for a little longer. Um, this was actually the first really hard stage I faced. Um, yeah, the full Abyss team was just sort of smoking my Norma. So I had to get her all the way up to level 80 to even have a shot at clearing this. But once I got her there, it got obviously much easier, as you can see. And Norma's last passive at level 100 sort of makes her invincible to a lot of these early game attacks. She'll um, she'll outheal however much damage she takes. So finally passed 210. And now we're up to the 26, so let it sit for a while, and I jumped all the way up to level 39. Um, and this time I want to show off, sometimes in campaign, I will run just Norma, because the way she heals, um, sometimes she'll end up healing those level 1s, which I don't want. Um, but I did pass 3-10, so I can use my IH777 code, get those 40 heroic scrolls, and hopefully get some really good RNG on the first, probably 50 summons, I don't think I'll be able to do... 100 summons and as you can see I managed to get a five star from casino without recording yesterday So I pulled an Edgar, which is really cool um, Edgar's kind of trash, but it is a very early five star food hero Plus it's the extra 2,000 casino coins that might help me get uh, another five star sooner rather than later um, So yeah adding friends trying to get 30 friends to get those daily hearts um, haven't quite unlocked every game mode so I can't complete all of the dailies yet. Um, I know a lot of you were asking uh, about whether or not dailies were worth it. Um, let's see how far I can get in tower from 31st. So got to 43, another 13. Oh, a few more. So 30 to 49, another 18 levels. Um, a lot of people have been asking me whether or not daily quests are worth it, especially like the wishing coin and heroic summons one. So I am going to release a video about that in the near future, covering sort of the the return value on each of the daily quests, even as a very, very early game free-to-play player. And like I said earlier in the video, as you can see, this is normal with no faction aura, solo, so she has no one else to heal, and at level 100, and all of her sort of green heals that you can see are higher than these level 35 enemies, so it's just a matter of patience and whittling them down. Um, some of my fights will go 30 rounds or so, which is annoying, but hey, you can still clear it. It's just a matter of patience. So, I think this battle and maybe the next one will wrap up part one of this series. Um, so this will cover the 25th and 26th, so day one and two on my new free-to-play series on server 889. Um, be sure to catch Barry, MK, GDP, and maybe June as well. And hopefully we can get a, a Discord started, or maybe a guild we'll have to see, but... That's going to wrap it up for this one. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want me to hit 3,000 pretty shortly. And check the link in the description for the next giveaway. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.